Weird. Okay, Beauty is vacuuming in her new kitchen. Randolph is done. What do you like? I'm going for the big reveal. Vacuum all the stuff, all the drawers out. Yep. And I need to treat the countertops, and I need to like put the light bulbs in the new things, and I need to finish painting the. Yeah. Um, More painting. And well, you gotta change into your. Yeah, well, it's not outfit. time yet. Okay, you're pretty dedicated Are to that today. Are we going to paint this before we reveal it, or? I didn't think so. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I just feel like there's more that has to. I, I, I still have to like paint the toe kicks and. Because we're gonna take all that off, dry it. I just don't want this to get worn at all before we show it. Okay. Good news. Not one Icelandic chicken got out of this setup. Moving it every day, bringing it taunt at the corners, giving it support posts. It's working. Let's move them out. Today is the day I get ready to live with the chickens for 24 hours. Yes, that happens for me tomorrow. Beginning of the last two days of 100 days of grooming. Jonah, tomorrow's the big day. Okay. I'm gonna live with the chickens okay. for 24 hours. Okay. You gonna support me? Sure. You gonna be my support? Bring me supplies? I can go, people can come in the chickens, but I can't go out of the chickens for 24 hours. <laughs> then I have to get the cow in the fence for you. Uh, ben, uh, no, no. Ben's coming to help. He's gonna milk that one day. He's gonna milk uh, Thursday. And then I'll milk Friday when I come out. Jonah, we could try to pick up those support posts in the net. You wanna try it? If you don't think it'll work, just go around and get them. Okay, can you go around and get them, please? That's right, the haulers are coming to heckle me while I'm in there, I'm sure. But also help me. Uh, ben will milk. Ben is also bringing an outdoor cooking stove and we're gonna cook fresh eggs together. So I guess he's bringing me breakfast. I mean, the chickens will give me breakfast, but he's uh, giving me a way to cook it. Oh, Papa, you can eat lunch, but with one of our roosters, you can eat. Do you want to carry the net, or do you want to carry the chick shaw? Huh? Or do you want to put the net on the chick shaw, and you spot it? Yeah, we spot it. We tried to put these we try to pick up the fiber tufts with the net. It's not really working out. Here they are, you want to pull them off? Sure. He's going to walk along holding this down while I pull it. Oh snap. Where'd you come from, little one? New location. Jonah's going to get the grain. Let's put this nut net up pretty quick. It's pretty fast. Especially when we're just using one net. Alright, I think it needs to fit. Josiah, let's support it with the fiber tufts. Actually, let's get them out. Go ahead, bro. That was super fast. One net, but we only got maybe three patties. Three nets, much bigger, but we gotta keep these little guys in. And they got a better chance in this little or net. Will you guys stay in? If they would just get a little bit bigger, they wouldn't go through. Just so I think we're gonna have to move this further away from the fence because the rooster gets on it and jumps. All right, there they are. Just so I, if we see any ices out, they go to the chicken tractor, okay? This is my home, right here, tomorrow for 24 hours. What am I going to do? What in the world am I going to do? Well, I'm going to help them spread that compost. I'm going to move this A-frame. There's some repairs to be done on the chickshaw. 
I'm gonna read the book, How the Chicken Crossed the World. And I guess I'm gonna absorb, observe, observe, observe. You know what? I'll be on guard of who might actually be getting out and how, and who might be eating tomatoes. Although, we haven't had a tomato attack in a while, just us, so we're doing good. Papa. Yes? No problem, how do you get the chicken back in? Oh, I won't. I'll just have to report to you guys. So to make this happen, tomorrow I will not be able to edit, obviously. I'll be in with the chickens. So I'm going to have to edit what you're seeing now, today. I usually edit the next day. I'm going to have to edit yesterday's vlog today. So we got to do the computer hustle today. Me and Jonah won't collect the eggs. Yeah, don't collect the so, eggs tonight. So you can eat them. That's right. I need some eggs for in the morning. Hopefully my cot gets here. Hopefully today, I think we'll set up the tent. Oh, I gotta get the compost toilet in there. Hey, Jonah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go start milking. Can you go to the forest for pigs? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Flossie gave a good gallon and three quarter. Let's get around in just one second, but to show you this real quick. See these soil blocks? We had quite the rain event last night, and it's not destroying them, so I'm thinking, well, you know, once the plants get established with a little bit, roots in there, uh, we're thinking it's gonna be okay. And this video is coming out. Casey Oswich has put a video in the Do It Yourself Abundance Crash Course. That's there now, guys. You can get that. The inside of the crash course, he talked about how to germinate seeds in the heat. Cold, hardy crops in the seeds. That's probably the biggest challenge to the winter harvest garden. Otherwise, once you get it going and good, especially when the sunlight is 10 hours or less in like middle of November-ish, winter harvest garden becomes the easiest garden. No bugs, no weeds, just go out and harvest all winter. Just keep it covered and go harvest all winter. All right, he's gonna help you get a start with that. Check it out, link in the description. Come on, Mustang. I think she thinks. I'm gonna give her some alfalfa if I'm, if I'm standing here. So I think the trick to getting her out is going behind her. Let's see if that works. Look. No. So that's the last I'm gonna promote of the crash course. Next week, guys, get in that crash course, get a sample. Ne that's a sample of the hundreds of videos that are in my Do-It-Yourself Abundance member area. More to come from those guys, from Casey, Jason, and the Hollers. Each are doing a series that I'm very excited about that'll run through January. How am I gonna get her out? What is she, she's like into the medicine. You know, you fight me when I try to put that, drench you with that, but then, <laughs> what's her fascination with the stanchion? So anyway, stay tuned next week. We're gonna launch the fall registration for the member area. It's gonna be on sale. It's gonna be open for a week and the spots are limited at the premium level, so you guys want to stay tuned for that. Be among the first to get in. Come on, Mustang. No lanes up. He's going straight across. What a great cow. We've got 30 minutes till breakfast. Shall we get ready for this weekend adventure with the chickens? I think so. A broad fork, something to do while I'm there. Pitchfork, pitchfork for slinging compost. While we're out here, let's let out the chicks. Oh, it's a muddy mess. So we'll be putting down a bit of mulch tomorrow to combat this mud. You guys my roommates tomorrow? This house is well overdue for a move. We'll do that tomorrow. While we're in here though, this needs some repair. The wire has come down way back from when the guinea hawks got in here once and crashed the floor. That perch is sagging. It's a one, one inch, one inch by two perch. They roost on that. Uh, that's just a jump bar to get them up into the crates. So maybe let's see if we can't make that a two by two. All right, I think I should probably get one of the harder things to do over with. 
I'm gonna need a loo for number two. You know what I'm saying? So how about the poop dolly? Got shavings, toilet paper, hand sanitizer. Moves like a dolly. Now to get in. I'm gonna have to put this down a bit, Josiah. Will you spot me so the chickens don't get out? Okay. okay. I bet you guys are dying to have a tour of this poop dolly. Designed to move like a dolly. Everything must have wheels on this farm. Everything must be movable by one person without a tractor or equipment. Inside, we got the rules. Uh, one cent. We got a bucket of sawdust. One scoop for number one. Two scoops for number two. Empty bucket. It's misaligned right now. There we go, line that up. It's ready to go. This is a level blue, this Thank build. You, this is just... Take some toilet paper, that stuff is wet. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's dry, it was wet at one time, I wonder why. Plenty of toilet paper, eco-friendly, compostable. Uh, wood shavings in there, this is a level blue. This is a wood frame that pivots up with the toilet seat on top. That just is just right for a bucket. Fill that bucket up, go put it in the compost pile for at least six months. And the compost pile better be uh, at least three cubic yards to break it down properly. There you go. Vents, vents at the bottom and at the top and it's a clear, clearish roof for natural solar lights. Lock's broken. You guys won't try to barge in on me while I'm doing my business, will ya? Okay, let's put it in the corner. Put it over here, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna sleep with mom while you're sleeping in here. You are? Okay. Yeah. I think you get the better and I, I think I got the short stick on that one. Huh? It's time for breakfast. Being in the My cot, I hope it comes today. We're in big trouble if it doesn't come today. I like the two by four to replace that with and then I lack uh, maybe a 10 by 10 shelter for shade during the day oh my gosh he's already passed out at 10 30 grandma's here to help the beautiful one hey I'll give my glimpse of the counter right like if you putting on the oil can I do that is that giving away too much oh she won't let me do it but she's working diligent on this and it's gonna be ready very soon. Grandma's helping. Nice. And they're, they're, they're brand new sliders. So they actually work. Are you applying tongue oil to these uh, butcher block countertops? Okay, it smells delicious. I would love to smell that every week. Is that how often you have to apply it? No, about a month. Every month. Guys, I can't wait for you guys to see this. It's so much more, it's so much brighter in here. And there's only one light bulb of three. Are we gonna get more light bulbs in there? This light isn't even on. I just can't wait to, for you guys to see this. We'll do a, a video just on it and it will, it'll be called uh, Farmhouse Kitchen Reno Reveal. How's that for a title, Rebecca? Okay. Since my cot has a tent on it, am I still gonna put a 10 by 10 down there? Probably you get out of the sun during the day. Yeah, put a chair down there. Yes, a chair. A couple I'm going to want to sit. Are you going to take a phone so you can call us to nope. stuff? No phone. <laughs> we should find our walkie talkies. Oh, that'd be good. Idea. That would work. They're somewhere. That's part of the rule. i got to focus on the chickens. Power them up. Not the phone. Typical once a week breakfast. I'm going to miss eating with you guys. I'm going to miss three meals with you. I know, I don't know. Yeah. You guys gonna bring me some good food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then you're gonna have to fight those chickens for it. Typical, but one of our favorite breakfasts eggs, Swiss chard. I am gonna have to fight the chickens for it, aren't I? And I just thought about it. I'm taking a shade out there, but they're gonna like the shade too. 
Oh, they're going to be with you all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Papa. Yes? The chickens are going to lay eggs for you, for you can eat them. That's right. I'm going to do that. Ben's bringing the camp stove, and we're going to eat together out there. You better bring Fresh. Us some lots of chickens. Casey says that's savage. Is that savage? <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Eat your eggs right in front of them. The that chickens bad. would love them. <laughs> oh, they that's true. Eggs. It's only savage in the sense that they would they would uh, be them. jealous and want to eat those eggs. <laughs> Who's savage? They are. That's why we like the chickens so much. They're gentle yet savage. All right, let's edit what we shot yesterday. Well, looking out that window. This is from our bedroom. That's where I'm gonna be this time tomorrow. Probably bored out of my mind. I just finished editing what I shot yesterday for today. Now, let's go finish prepping for this 24 hour challenge and capture the rest of this vlog. Come back and edit it. You wanna go with? No. Hey, I'm looking for a cot. Did that come in the mail? No, this is grandma. Any cot? Um, it, there was something that just got delivered. I don't okay. know if the cot is in it. Okay. Oh, I guarantee that's it. Jonah said he's gonna go out there and sleep with me. Well, only if this cot is big enough, buddy. Great. And if no kids got, other kids got jealous. Nobody's jealous. No, just not sleeping with mom. <laughs> okay. Mom, can I sleep? Here. This is, this, is, this is for the cool room. This paint. Cool. Nope. Not it, but mom will be excited about this. This is for her while she's uh, working in the garden. All right, I gotta find like a Rubbermaid for my book and my gallon waterer. I'm thinking this cooler inside my tent. Not that I'm gonna keep it cool or anything, but the gallon jug does fit in here. Here's my book. Lily got me some water. A chocolate We've got bar. the book. She gave me a chocolate bar. Thank you. That's very nice. Everything. Honey sweetened organic chocolate. Whoa. Okay. Let's go get the tent. What else do we need? The Hi. tent and the chair. I think we're ready. Yeah. Oh no. And a two by two. Here, let's get the measuring tape. Get. You should get some um, wood chips and put it on the bottom of yeah. the tent. I need some deep bedding in my tent. I think that's something Ben can do when he's got the tractor. Ben can... Uh, Get our tractor and drop me some wood chips for that whole area and for my my tent. Some deep bedding. So tractors hit or miss starting these days. Mama, can I sit on the back? No. Start right up. We're having a kind of a hiccup tomorrow. We do get our feed delivery. I'm trying to coordinate with them, Reedy Fork Farm, make sure they're coming in the morning when Ben's here and can help them unload it with our tractor. What? No, I don't want that kind of chair. How about a camping chair? Put that back in the... There, thank you though. Pretty sure my camping chair is in here, yep. Grab that camping chair, Lily, please. And I will grab... our 10 by 10. All right, I got that under the pig port for now. I'm not gonna set it up. I'm gonna need some stuff to do tomorrow. So, I'm gonna set that up tomorrow. Lily, thank you for my chair. I got a way to loo. I've got shade. Cots coming. Got my water and my book packed. You really don't need much when you're gonna live with chickens. They really don't need much. <laughs> Shelter, water, food. Something to do. They got it. Do you think I'm crazy? No. <laughs> Because you grew up like this, huh? You grew up with this, huh? <laughs> no. Do you don't think it's crazy that your dad's going to live with the chickens for 24 hours? No. When I left the message with Reedy Fork Farm, it's like, uh, yeah. I'll be li <laughs> you can come, but I'll be with the chickens. <laughs> I can't come out. <laughs> Just like any other normal person, right? <laughs> right, Gideon? Huh? You think I'm crazy? You think I'm crazy? Another thing I'm gonna do, guys, is develop a killer chicken dance. And anybody that <laughs> anybody that comes in with me, people can come in, but I can't go out. Gets to do the chicken dance with me. Lily, I know what we're forgetting. The costume. Yes, get the costume. 
I'm also forgetting to measure and go get a piece to replace this landing bar. Don't come in, Lily. You're barefoot. You want a roommate? Bunch of broody hands. Five will do it. Extra strength. Yeah, it's it's a little taller. It's not quite a two by four. Um, it's maybe two and a half inches, but putting it like that, it's gonna have some mega strength. We don't need to, the, we don't need to swivel the perches anymore. The perches don't need to swivel up. The only reason they were swiveling up is so you could train birds not to go in there. But my friend Mike had a good idea. Just turn the nesting box sideways if you're trying to train birds not to go in there to like perch, like turn them sideways before they perch at night and then just turn them around in the morning. All right, let's go drop this and then we'll get my costume and we'll be ready. All right, if you're going to live with the chickens, you might as well dress up like a chicken at least one. I got both edits done, yes. And it looks like my cot is here. Boom! Kimba! Okay. Is it big enough for me to sleep with you? I don't know, should we try it out tomorrow or just try it out tomorrow? Why don't we try it out tomorrow? And if it's big enough, then you can, but I need something to do in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> Setting up camp was one yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we see it? All right. That means next video y'all see <laughs> will be my 24 hours experience with the chickens. Yes. Hopefully I come out alive. Hopefully I come no, out hopefully alive. Not. The vicious dinos don't attack. <laughs> hopefully they don't get me. Hopefully, hopefully they, they don't get you when you come visit me. <laughs> I get you. Oh, they're going to be surrounding you they in that are. tent. I know. It's going to be weird.